What's up? It sucks. Came across this great video of one of the first pioneers of electronic music and synthesis. And I downloaded this and not only are there some great like vocals to flip, like not like singing, but sort of like chants and um, spoken word sort of stuff. But there's some great content at the end just with like a performance using the old synthesizers. And I'll see what kind of banger we can make. So I'm going to start by taking some of the actual musical aspects of this, which I believe happened mostly at the end. Yeah, definitely want that. I just chopped up the sample and like stretched it a little bit and here's what I have so far. I think this will work great as like a dubstep track. All right, let's get this dubstep sidechain up in here. I have a full tutorial on how I do sidechain and logic with MIDI like this. Let's clean this up a little bit. Let's make this sample sound a little brighter. OTT is going to be my go-to. Then we're going to get some reverb up in here. I kind of want this to have like even more bounce to it. I've got an idea. A little bit of automation here. Let's add some basses. All right, I'm back after a little extra work and all I basically did was add some chords with uh, a saw wave, take out and adjust some of the cymbals here, add this crowd effect, and then processed this a little bit more heavily and some reverb automation. For the intro, just like fade it in, and I'm gonna like fade this in with the EQ. I'm digging that. I think that's great. Um, let's go into a buildup of some kind. Let's just like have a, the speech go in here. Like, let me try and show you how we get some of these sounds. First of all, none of them exist as a particular sound as they would on an electronic organ. There's no magic. This is going to be literally just one chord. I'm gonna go here. Um, serum, pitch. Let's try and show you how we get some of these sounds. First of all, none of them exist as a particular sound, as they would on an electronic organ. There's no magic button on a trumpet or violin or drum. You have to build every sound. All right, we have just a very simple buildup going on. I'm going to do a little sound design, and then I'll polish all this stuff up at the end. I'm honestly just going to copy over the majority of this stuff from the intro, and then just do the sound design after that. <laughs> We're gonna put OTT on it no matter what. Nope! Oh, I wanna do one of these things where we like automate this. Okay, and now I need a sub bass. Let's do the rest of the drop area. I like to automate the master a lot when I'm doing this sort of shit. There are plenty of producers who do this, it works. Actually, you know what? I want an 808. It's a preset. Sue me. I might try the other square wave here. Oh, I could distort the hell out of this and have something fun. What if I add another OTT? I love adding just a super like compressed square wave on downbeats. And then this needs a layer, another layer that's just like higher or something. I have this basic synth here. And then here I have just a square wave with the same processing, some OTT, distortion, and EQ. Um, the only interesting thing here is there's an envelope on the pitch. The other stuff pretty much stayed the same, this little growl. And then I layered it with this gun sound <laughs> because it's a nice transient. 
And then I also have this other alternate version of the synth here. Which is really just a higher version of the low synth, more FM and in a higher octave. One trick that I use for like dubstep and like heavy bass songs like this is to fill up just the sides. I like to like pan out a vocal like repeated note. So I have this just tuned to E. So I've just got that happening, filling up things in addition to a crowd sample and this other like background noise thing and some just like white noise stuff. The tempo is a little bit higher. I'm going for more of like a drum step. I'm gonna do a couple more tweaks off camera and I'll play you the final mix at the end. I first heard it. 